went to a meeting today to save Love Beach. Uh, it appears developers want to put in two seven-story high-rises on uh, two separate lots right in a single-family home development that has restrictions of only two stories and uh, it looks awfully fishy that it's been pushed through with no environmental studies and um, so I was asked to go to the meeting unfortunately um, those in charge of the meeting after they saw me film the entire thing told me uh, that um, I didn't have a right to do that and I should have asked but uh, there really wasn't a question of whether I would have been allowed if I had asked I just was surprised they let me film and then told me it was illegal and that I was they even threatened to call the police on me anyway so here's what I responded um, and I've had to remove their faces so that um, so I can't be prosecuted so here it is Christopher Hartley I I ran Hartley's undersea walk and have been concerned about the ocean for quite some time. Watched the reefs die. And I understand that Love Beach had one of the best reef areas right off there. And when you start building, not only do you have a serious sewage issue, probably now with soak away sewage, but when you start building a big building like that with a lot of bathrooms all needing to flush, not to mention all the streets that you're going to build and the cars and everything running into the ocean. One of the biggest problems we're having in town is just too many buildings going up and nowhere for the water to go. And of course the roads don't go out to the ro sea anymore because of landfill, but that's a different issue. But here I'm just concerned not just with all the things mentioned. A covenant shouldn't be changed unless everyone agrees. Um, but um, the environmental issue is serious and it needs to be studied. And not just about birds and trees, but the ocean. All I need to say. Yeah, it was pointed out that um, the Bahamas is one of the few islands that still doesn't have high rises on its beaches. You think about uh, one of the most beautiful beaches in the world in Brazil, and it's just lined with skyscrapers. And of course, Miami Beach, uh, it's, it's hard to find a beach that hasn't had skyscrapers put along it. And um, so this is quite a sad day that uh, this might happen. Um, I did speak of the runoff that when you put a lot of parking area for cars and um, then the water can't soak in the ground and uh, it just and having it flow out to the ocean isn't a good thing. I know I made a comment about town and actually one of the reasons the Bahamas is so beautiful in the ocean is because we don't have any rivers. And so when you humans create streets uh, that then need drainage, you're then draining all your street dirt into the ocean and creating rivers that, you know, will kill the corals. But in this particular case, sewage, just the construction itself would put silt in the water. Um, you know, they get a rainstorm, they get the land all cleared away, digging, digging holes and putting in foundations. You know, it's, 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 and the worst part is you're not being very nice to your neighbors. Um, the neighbor, and some neighborhoods maybe should be kept nice. It really, um, I even wonder about the fires in Hawaii now that I think about it. You know, were they trying to burn people out to put in high rises someday?